What's up, guys? My name is Cornelius Robinson, and this is Overshoot. Today, we're talking about templates, so let's get into it. Templates are a great way to automate the same things you do every time. To show you what I mean, let's start a new blank project and rename this new part template. Whenever I make a new part in Flux, I always add a few properties. Things like part type, manufacturer name, part number, designator prefix, data sheet URL, and the package. Now that I've added my most commonly used properties, I can just select the Flux logo and select make this project a template. Now instead of selecting new blank project, I can select the template I made. And all the properties are there. Let me show you one more use case that I'm excited about. Before sending a board off to be manufactured, you need to make sure the board is within their specifications. For example, I often use PCBWay to manufacture my boards. They have a list of capabilities that we can add to our projects. So let's create a new blank project and name it PCBWay template. If we go to the PCB tab, we can add a new rule set. Let's start with traces. I need trace width minimum and spacing minimum. The minimum trace width that PCBWay can manufacture is 4 mils, but they recommend 6 mils to keep the costs down. The same is true for spacing. Okay, now let's add another rule set for board size. The minimum can be 5 by 6 millimeters. The maximum is 500 by 1100 millimeters. Perfect. Now let's get the drill sizes. We need whole size minimum and maximum. According to PCB Way, the smallest drill size is 0.2, but to keep cost down, we'll stick to 0.3 millimeters. The maximum is 6.3 millimeters. The last rule set I want to create is for the silkscreen text. The 
The smallest size we can have is 0.8 millimeters. Oh, that's already the default. Nice. Okay, now I can just make this a template. Now, whenever I know I want to use PCBWay to manufacture my boards, I can select this template and I'll know my boards will be within their specifications. I will also make this template available for anyone to use. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check that out. Also give this video a like if you found it helpful and subscribe to see more content like this every week.